Cincy. So today we did a trail video. So this is afterwards. Um, I thought I got some good footage. Honestly, in the beginning was just driving up the trail. There wasn't much going on. I went ahead and cut all that out. We got to the action. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I was very happy with it. At the end, it was very dirty. Hence why it's kind of opened up and drying out. Uh, I just literally wiped off what I could and used the sprayer and just rinsed it because it did get like some, you know, creek water. It wasn't dirty, dirty, but, you know, you just want to clean it and, of course, dry it. Um, so when I was actually carrying the truck to the trail, I noticed that the mirror was like kind of rattling in there. The mirror right up here came off. I don't know if it was when I rolled it or whatever because she said the windshield kind of popped out too. So the mirror was laying there of course i did a little tiny dab of glue popped the wind she popped the windshield back in so that is a hundred percent uh at the end of cleaning it i don't know if i did it or if it just came loose a little toyota plant came off of course i just did a small dab of super glue which fixed it so yeah uh not bad at all easy to clean if you notice i did take off the back just to help dry it and clean it a little better make sure there was nothing in there I didn't want to bring home any critters or any leaves and dirt and stuff. Uh, it did amazingly on the trail. It really, really impressed me. You'll see in the video, it went through some tough stuff. Uh, it still has the same weak points. Technically, we are upgraded. Uh, the video I shared with you guys on how to uh, modify it for free. Uh, I did have these mods uh, in this current video. You know, removing one of the leaf springs, removing the shock. The spring, I'm sorry, not the shock, the spring in it. Uh, and I ended up putting oil. I ended up compressing it all the way, dabbing, getting the excess off, putting the cap on. So making it to where actually rebound. If you don't put any spring or oil in it, it won't uh, want to push back up at all. It'll just stay stuck in that position. I didn't want that. I wanted a little bit of a rebound, plus a little bit of dampening. So having just enough oil to push it back up nothing else really made it smooth the leaf spring suspension still needs to break in but i tell you what um no bounce see that before it was a little bit bouncy now with that shock oil in there of course 50 weight is what i use a little thicker a little on a heavier side but i like it i know most guys use like 10 or 15 i guess it's preference um so I had a blast. Uh, besides that, of course, we went with the LiPo battery. Let me show you the setup. So I had my little trusty hat cam. Of course, I bought this that just has the tools, uh, lock tie, you know, extra battery, voltage checker, stuff like that. Um, this is the battery I ran. It's the same one in there. Of course, I have to use an adapter, the 3350C uh, 3S pack. I love this, this fits great. And I don't even, I forgot to charge it. I think I had a decent charge on it. And we went driving for about 37, 38 minutes. And it still had power. When I got back and tested it, uh, it was at 3.55 on every cell. Uh, of course, I could have used a voltage alarm. I didn't. Uh, I also have some greases in here. Of course, uh, my tools in case I got to tighten something up. Uh, my giant bottle of Loctite came <laughs> so this is my new bottle this is my old one it's the guy she said not to worry about the funny part <laughs> but uh yeah so it's the same medium blue uh loctite uh basically just one is much larger than the other oh wait a minute this is a medium because the other one was a 242 this is a 243 removable medium strength so you know what i'd probably rather use this because with this it still comes loose fairly easy. Maybe I didn't do a generous amount. I'm going to do a generous amount of this and kind of try it out on one of them, see if I like it. 
I may end up using this because stuff will come loose. I noticed after rock crawling, my front wheel was loose up here. As far as everything else was and it wasn't, I did lock tight all the way up to here. Everything on this back side that goes into metal, uh, I did lock tight. I didn't do the front end because I call it the shackle mod, these little shackles right here. Instead of it flexing to the front, I want it to flex to the back so it doesn't push away from the rock. It just really helps out a lot. I can't wait. The cool part is, by the way, I ordered this stuff, can't remember, sometime late, late last week. And come to find out, it is out for delivery today. All of it. The inner fender wells, the uh, lights, and the uh, shackle mod. Uh, or knuckles, whatever you want to call it, shackles, whatever. I just call it the shackle mod. Uh, there's a name for it. I'll read the exact number and part off the bag. Of course, I got it from RC Four Wheel Drive. I do have, like... Uh, let me show you the tool bag. Like I'm really impressed. I do need an actual big bag. Like I have an airfield bag and I have a nitro bag. Uh, I'm gonna get one for my electric vehicles, electric trucks and stuff like that. So I have some pretty cool stuff in there. So let me slide this over. Um, and let me show you really quickly what I bring with me. So it's in this cute little baby Yoda bag. It won't take long. Obviously my four sets of drivers. The cool part is, is like in the 1.5, you know, the little grubs that hold on a bumper. They're in here in a little bag. And then of course, all my spare screws to this platform is in the 2.0. That's what size it is. Technically you only need three sizes for this truck. 2.0, 2.5 on the bigger uh, screws. And then the small stuff on it is 1.5, which is typically on the body and then the bumper. Uh, so in the 2.0, it's a bag of all my spares. Every single attachment had an extra screw. So if something comes out, the cool part is I have Loctite. I can fix it and I have to go all the way home. I brought the spare nickel hydrate battery just in case. Uh, a programming car, never quite used it yet. I wouldn't mind. I don't even know if you could, pro you could program most ESCs if it's the right programming card. Uh, this one's supposed to be able to do like the 1080 Hobby Wing and a couple other ones. It should technically do that 60 Amper. Uh, I would love to get a Hobby Wing 1080 for this. Technically, it is an upgrade. And you can use this programming card, uh, especially if you get like a, a servo and has a higher voltage, which right now I'm just going to run the ready to run the RTR servo until it dies. My favorite Super Lube. Uh, some, uh, what is this stuff? The high pressure black grease, for, like diffs, really high, porky stuff. Of course, the good old white lithium grease. Um, shock oil, of course, in case I have a blowout or it comes apart on travel. A lot of these trucks will fall apart on travel if you don't lock tight them. That's the crazy part about it. Even then, lock tight the crap out of them. Of course, my shock oil, smaller bottle of lock tight. The bumper, just in case I thought things were going to get hairy or I wanted to go really aggressive by knocking over the brush and sticks and stuff. Uh, of course, the bigger medium strength. So technically, this is one above stronger than that one, which I'm glad they're not the same. Uh, I can't find my metal wrench, but this one will tighten up the wheels. It's not the greatest because it's plastic. If you turn too hard, you can't. Like the plastic will just let it like click. So it will tighten it to an extent enough. Of course, the voltage alarm, you can run on the platform or just check the voltage. And that's, I think, yep, that's everything in the bag. So I think that's everything I should take with me. It's nice to have these. I would definitely slide it back in your pocket. Uh, you know, it's just nice to have this. Uh, if I had like a, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna do a tool bag since I'm gonna go trail and rock crawling with this. I think I'm gonna get a small backpack that I could just leave on my back that's gonna have you know, I could put the rig on the outside of it, just kind of clip it to it, put the transmitter inside where it's safe, or put the rig inside, depending on the size of the backpack, put all my tools in there, no problem, and just grab it and go. So I think that would be really cool. Um, I'd like to do that for it. I have a laptop going, but that's for my laptop, even though I don't really travel with my laptop too much. So, of course, the trusty hat cam. I am going to do something better. Uh, last time I used a hat cam where I didn't look good is I didn't do the wide lens. So, yeah. So, back to the platform really quickly. Uh, it's not, considering all the brush and the rolls I had on the rocks, the platform's still in good shape. Yes, it has a couple small little chips, but there's primer underneath, so it looks realistic. Uh, a little bit there. Nothing major. A little bit on the chrome uh, back bumper under the b underneath side of it. The front splitter doesn't look bad considering I was knocking over brush and everything. It's mainly under the bottom side of it. 
But I think the, the part that took the most lickings was the platform underneath. So like the Yoda axles, that's gonna happen rock crawling no matter what you do. Uh, this thing kept getting hung up on a lot of stuff. You can see how far down it is. The modification, there is a flat plate there and it moves this, uh, uh, this uh, transfer case up. I really want that mod bad. I think that's gonna be the second most beneficial once you do the free modification with a little shock oil, of course, and the battery. I definitely recommend doing that. The inner fender wells will keep dirt and stuff from getting up in here. Mud getting all over the platform. It'll kind of keep it more contained because this is the wheel that spins. So plus it looks more scale, covers up this wiring and some of this frame rail. It'll still show the axles and the shock and the springs, of course, most of it. Um, the lights are scale, and then the shackle mods will really help with its performance a little bit. Uh, it'll improve. Uh, so uh, don't forget to turn off the transmitter. That's when I have a really bad thing to do. Of course, of course, change your jumper. Right up here, you can see I went to the left, which is lipo. Sorry. To the left is lipo. To the right is nickel hydrate. It actually has a little diagram there in case you forget. And up top, you probably should don't need drag brake, so you can use a jumper. Put it in bash mode or in race mode. I would personally put it in bash mode. Uh, it'll give it everything it's got just about, or race mode. One of the two, no jumper, just puts in crawler mode with, of course, the uh, crawler brake. It isn't the strongest one. I'd say it's probably like a 50% brake or something. I don't know. On a really steep stuff, it'll still move. You can always use the brake. I think on race mode, it has the brake. No, bashing mode, it has brake. Race mode, it does it really, because you don't want to slow down. You just want to almost hit reverse to kind of stop you. So I think that's what the difference is. It actually has numbering. So let me see, all the way to the left, looks like it has uh, forward, brake, reverse, and then the other one is just forward and brake for racing, which you don't need reverse. And then the other one is forward and reverse with drag brake, no jumper. So it has a perfect diagram right there, see? So I guess, yeah, bashing, you want brake and reverse. Racing, you only need forward and brake. So it makes perfect sense. Gives all the ump that way. So you have a lot more adjustability. Of course, still has the endpoints and all the goodness. This is one of the best RTR just because it has the endpoints and a bunch of adjustment on it. I love it. So let's get out and show you guys this video. It isn't very long, but I just, like I said, cut out to the important stuff. I just wanted to show you everything. Just make sure you clean your platform good and you dry it. It, it really, this will corrode and rust. Uh, you can see I literally wiped and dried everything. It looks brand new. Uh, of course, I only ran it twice, so I know it's not like a lot of wear, but it's important to dry everything. Uh, even the connectors, make sure to blow them out. If you have to use pressurized air or just plain air, uh, just really dry everything. I blew everything out, tested it, make sure it worked, turned it off, unplug it. And it's as simple as that. I usually unplug it here. And it's as simple as that. Don't leave that plugged in. Of course, it was off. I tend to forget to turn the platform off, by the way, and the transmitter, hence why I kind of toasted my RC four-wheel drive batteries. But that's besides the point. Oh, to get the doghouse off, uh, you are going to need a 1.5 driver. It's just four screws that attaches it. It's these really, really small ones, so please do not lose those. I don't think we have any spares. I'm sure you can find something, but it's these 1.5s right here. Um... I would honestly, if you're not using it, I would honestly screw the screws back in the hole. Um, that way you don't lose them. That's what I do with the body. So when I take the body off, uh, I just screw it in a little bit. It won't come out. Uh, just to let you know, um, when I don't uh, have the body on, I screw these even back in. Don't go all the way and tap them out, but I just screw them in. So I do not lose them. They are right there. I am going to look into other means of mounting the body. The thumb screw modification, I think, is supposed to come out. A few other things. Uh, so we will do a separate uh, video doing the mods. The lights are nice. All the lights are going these kind of like these little clip things. And they can be adjusted. You see them right there. There's a screw that mounts them. So you put the wire in, screw it in. So they're going to be really nice. You do have to do some nice wiring, you know, uh, Try to tuck it and run it. I don't know if it has channels or places to run the wires. I'll see if there is a particular place. Because you got to think there's other stuff that can be in the way. So just be careful how you run it. And then I'm not sure 
if it has to run to the receiver box or if it runs off a splitter that just taps into this and then it turns on when you turn the truck on. Not 100% sure. I kind of wish it go to receiver. Maybe we can use the three-way switch in some manner, right? That would be nice. I know this is, I think, mainly used for the winch, but uh, three position, sorry, or three-way, whatever you want to call it. So just keep that in mind. We will see when they all come. Just excited. Can't wait to show you guys this video. So let's jump right into it and check out some fun. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get in there. You know what? I think it's capable. We'll have to dry and clean it. Let's see. Yeah, good job. We'll go back and clean. They cleaned the tires though. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Didn't bust out my window, did it? <laughs> oh wait, you gotta approach it right. And see if she'll come up out of here. Yeah, trail truck, baby. Look at that. Ha <laughs> She's got a free car wash. Look at her. Free car wash, baby. There's something wrapped around an axle. I just want to make sure it's not wrapped around there. Yeah, it is a little bit. You got to watch that. It'll wrap around here and uh, really give you a headache. There we go. So not bad. Not bad at all. I'm surprised it did that. Honestly, I thought I was for sure going to be stuck in that mud hole. Ghost it. It likes the mud. Don't bother it. You need a snorkel for that pond over there. I thought about that one, but that, you need a snorkel for that one. I think it'll get buried. Waterproof to an extent, water resistant, not waterproof. So you could do stuff like that. Just make sure when you get home, there's no water where the receiver goes, stuff like that. You know, get the water off the axles. It should have bearings that are sealed, I would imagine. I would hope. <laughs> uh, the, even the cheap $159 axial has that. So if it doesn't have it, I'd be very disappointed. Obviously I have to spray some WD-40 in the bearings, re-grease them. You know, hopefully we'll have to go that route. But what I am disappointed about is thread lock not being anywhere on this machine that I saw. I think that's a must. If you own this thing, please do thread lock. The rubber foam thing did move in a little bit. That could be just me being heavy handed, kind of resting on as I'm driving. Um, you know, mud creek. I mean, it got a, some pretty tough situation there in the water, didn't care. Didn't care about that mud. Pretty cool for sure. Let me make sure this doesn't freeze because sometimes it does. So this was a nice exercise for me. I had fun driving it. Let's see if we can find something else to get into before the end of this trail. Plenty of battery. I don't even know if I honestly charge it. I will check with the lipo uh, checker, the battery, and let you guys know. I'll get home, I'll let you know if anything came loose or anything's acting funny. Bitting some rocks there. That is real rough, don't do that. That that going reverse and forward like this. Even though it's a cool burnout, it's kind of rough on transmission. That's where we came from. There's the pond and everything. The other side, there isn't much anything but baseball fields and stuff. I don't want to be going there and getting that sand. That sand is a pain in the butt to clean. Let's find a trail. Let's make a trail. It's heavy enough where it literally breaks sticks. It's insane. Come on, baby. Show them what you're made of. Oh, 
I'm out here in the stick. Nope, not going that route. It is a beast that trail crawling. Especially if I could get that dang differential cover. Ooh. Just so dang heavy. <laughs> That's what it's got going for it. It just knocks over those little ones. Plows right through it. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Hopefully the camera doesn't mess up. We're about at the end. I can see something hanging down. It's roots and dirt. Of course, I'll clean it up a little bit before I put it in the trunk because I just got done vacuuming my trunk. I do black top, so it gets dirty as heck. Um, I just got done cleaning my interior that day, washed it, just trying to take care of it, you know. Man, where else is some cool roots or a cool log? There's a little bit of mud here. <laughs> that never gets old. I gotta remember to take that uh, a little mirror. I don't know if I showed you guys. Came undone. I don't know if I rolled it or from transport. It's just a glue. Came undone. No big deal. They did give you extra stickers for the actual mirror. A little dab of glue. Whoops. No big deal. Uh, it was round around in the back, so luckily it's an enclosed thing, so I didn't lose it anywhere. I'll check, see what came loose on it. Obviously, I'm going to do Loctite on everything, especially after I get the front shackles done on it. Everything's going to get light tight from head to toe. I did the whole back end, probably to about right here. I'm going to do everything. The axles, everything I that screws into metal is going to get Loctite. That's how it should be. Ooh, I was trying to climb off on the side of that. Really, the rocks are too close over there. Comfort for me. Going to pond, go under, and it's done. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna get too close to that. Maybe we could find some mud here on the sides or something. About the end of it, anyways. I'm not sure. I'm sure how much battery and juice it's got left. We can check it. If we could get the reach to balance lead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Seems like it's still got the same punch it had before. They're probably like, uh, what the? Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Look at him. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Look at that. They, they, they just skied. They just straight up skied. That was pretty cool. How close can I get? Nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. Not doing it. Hey, who knows where it just drops off the two, three feet and it's gone. Dude. You can't see it. I will be getting in there for this rig. I will get in that pond. I can tell you that right now. I've gotten in ponds for cheaper stuff than this. Ooh, what do I see? That little crick. That's a little cricky. See if we get to it is a question. See, right when you're about to give up, go home, something comes your way. Don't tell me you could get back there. That'd be insane. Yeah, it doesn't care. How? <laughs> it got back here. A little seat there. Oh, no, it's not going to take something out like that. Oh, yeah, and get some rock action, too. There's that damn... Hold on. I'm gonna have to put one knee down. Well, I can't put one knee down. It's kind of muddy. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, look at her. I didn't think you would have a problem with any of this. Turn around, no problem. 
got here through the thicket. There's some so crawling. Oh. Could use a little bit bigger tire, not much, but a little. Watch that. Oh, it cleared that time. Oh no. I caught it at the end. Force, brute force. Sometimes that's your friend. Oh, broke a stick. Gonna make it on the harder stuff over here. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, don't tip over in the water. I'm gonna take a leap of faith here. Oh, that'd be funny if I stepped into like a... Look at that action. Ah, oh, loose rock too. Come on, Betsy. Ha! <laughs> She'll get up out of here. Not maybe try to take out the biggest freaking stick in the world. Ah, oh, she's a beast. I'm gonna come around this way, guys. Whoa. I mean, this is even easy for me to get out of here. It went through all this. It went through all, you can see where it mowed through. <laughs> oh man. One hell of a trail truck. Nice weight. If it could come up out of here too, I have not once touched it, I don't think on this trail, unless they got hung up. Oh, how are we gonna get out of here? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Still haven't grabbed it. That's just it getting hung up. I'm not. Ah. Oh, I just poked myself in the face. Yeah, that's just it getting bound up. Let's pull her on out of there. Lay her down. absolutely love the dampening i mean it's it's perfect look at that look how scale that looks that mud on them tires i love it it performed like i thought it would plus some um, they redid some rock here the bank of it they really take care of this place i like it Ooh, some mud Break in those uh, <laughs> leaf springs. Break those bad boys in, you know? Uh, excuse me. I don't think I'm gonna try that bumper block. <laughs> I don't think it could clear to do it. Not that I wouldn't try it. Like, what if you came in on an angle? No, it's gonna get hung up. There's no way I would try that. <laughs> nope. Should find a little thing of water and clean the wheels off, but, oh, what do I see over there? See mud and crit? Oh yeah, there she goes. Look at her. This is one fine trail truck. I mean, <laughs> it, does, it takes a lot to stop it. Like, like this size. Like the other ones, it, most of them, it just mowed right over. See that? Just mows right on over. 
Oh, there was something sticking up. You seen that? Ah, haha. Kind of cleaned the tires a little bit. Oh yeah, it did. <gasps> Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, look at her. Try to stay away from the mud. Then immediately go to the dry stuff. Shake it around a little bit on the gravel. There you have it, gentlemen. Absolutely love this truck. Get the mud off my feet. Pull on up. Look at her. Man, that looks scale. I think that's the real thing. If I looked at it from a glance. Well, look at that. Man, I should have had a selfie stick with someone filming down low. Ah, oh, it'd have been that much better. But I had a blast. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It wasn't the greatest trail, but I had fun. It wasn't even the trail that was cool. It was the mud and the and uh stuff you find off at the side of the trail tailgate kind of popped open a little bit make sure there's nothing in there close it yeah we're good just a little mud here and there but nothing crazy i'm gonna wipe off most of the stuff just check it wipe off most of the stuff go ahead and take the body off just make sure there's not mud or anything all over the motor electronics wipe it off a little bit Honestly, just take the hose and rinse it. I'm gonna use a sprayer at home. Once I get all this big stuff off, I'll just spray it, dry it off, and yeah. So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.